with you guys. First and foremost, I am 35% Native American. And I initially thought that it was like real Native American blood, but I think what it means is that I have blood that is native to North and South America. So that's 35% of it. That's the majority of it. Uh, 22% Iberian Peninsula, which I had no idea what that meant. 13% Italy and Greece. And then I have a 10%, 10 more regions, which is a small percentage. So now let's see my full ethnicity estimate. Uh, as you can see here, this is the Native American blood. It doesn't give me a specific location as to where it comes from. So I am assuming that is where my Mexican blood comes from because I am uh, full on Mexican. And I don't know that I, I never knew that I had anything else in my blood, which makes it really cool. So that's the 35%. And then I have uh, right here, it says Africa, 5% in Africa guys and it's about the northern part of Africa. I have 2% in Senegal, also Benin and Togo, Africa North and Mali, less than 1%. So that's kind of crazy. I have ancestors from Africa, which is cool. Uh, what else? 2% Asia, what? I know guys, I have 2% of my DNA that comes from East Asia. I would have never guessed that in my end. Um, and then Europe, I have 52% European blood. Tw Europe, I have 52% European blood. 22 European blood. European blood. European blood. European blood. Um, and then Europe, I have 52% European blood. 22% of it is Iberian Peninsula. And Iberian Peninsula, Peninsula is actually from Spain. Portugal, um, I have 13% in Greece. What? Italy. And I was also 13% in the United Kingdom. And I just got back from London. So I actually have ancestors from London, which is super cool. And then I have a few more that kind of feather out to the Netherlands and Germany, France, that sort of region. I'm going to start off with giving you guys a little bit of background about myself and then I'm going to tell you guys what I thought my results were going to be and then we're going to get into what they actually were. So some background about myself, I am Mexican-American, both of my parents were born in Mexico, their parents were born in Mexico, and I was born in East LA. So these are my parents and they are from Michoacan, Mexico. My mom is from Cualcomán and my dad is from Sawayo. These are my two sisters, Stephanie and Diana. Here are my maternal grandparents from Gualcoman, Michoacan, and here are my paternal grandparents from Sawayo, Michoacan. Here we are with my grandma, my mom's mom, and from her end we thought we had Korean ancestry, but that has since been debunked with my results. So my results are, I am 46.1% European, Southern European 41.5%, and from that, I am 26.8 Spanish and Portuguese. So that would be my highest. So Spaniard is basically the highest percent in European. I am 46.1% European. Southern European, 41.5%. And from that, I am 26.8 Spanish and Portuguese. So that would be my highest. So Spaniard is basically the highest percent in European. 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 And 26.8 Spanish and Portuguese. So that would be my highest. So Spaniard is basically the highest percent in European. Now on to my East Asian and Native American percentage. I am 34.8% total, 31.3% Native American, and then 3% um, broadly East Asian and Native American. That would be my two highest totals in that bracket. Now onto the results that blew my mind. It turns out that I am 7.7% Sub-Saharan African and the two highest being 
4.4% West African and 2.3% Congolese Southern East African. So I was like, what? That's crazy. Coach, she's actually, she has a lot of history out here. Yes, yes, nigga. But just like I say, and look at this long hair. Let me just show y'all this long, beautiful, natural hair. Look at this. Look. I mean, I'm gonna give y'all a taste, a taste of this. Look, Mita. Mita. This shit go all the way down to her. Let me, let me get, get you the scalp right here. Look. All of that. That shit is natural, 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 natural. I see. I see. I see. I see. Mira. <laughs> that shit is natural. And she's from Mexico. So, y'all can't be mad, mad at me. There's a very confusing statistic about the percentage of white people in America thanks to a clause in the U.S. Census that refers to white non-Hispanic. Now, if you're white with European ancestry, Asian with Asian ancestry, or black with African ancestry, this may not be something you've ever even thought about. Let's look at the 2010 census. If you check the box that simply says white, this registers you as white non-Hispanic, which makes up 62% of the population. But together, white Hispanics and Latinos are 77% of the population. Together, white Hispanics and Latinos are 77% of the population. Now, if that seems like a quick way to boost the number of white people living in this country, that's because it kind of is. But together, white Hispanics and Latinos are 77% of the population. But together, white Hispanics and Latinos are 77% of the population. But together, white Hispanics and Latinos are 77% of the population. But together, white Hispanics and Latinos are 77% of the population. Now, if that seems like a quick way to boost the number of white people living in this country, that's because it kind of is. And if that also seems really confusing, that's because it is. So if you ever hear anyone say, this is America and 77% of it is white. Whether they know it or not, they are in fact including a very large number of people who identify as Hispanic or Latino. If you look at the 2010 census application again, the difficulty is that Hispanic is not considered a race. The census asks you to choose your Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin, then choose your race between the six categories offered. Not only is this a hell of a shock when you consider that over 55 million U.S. citizens are Hispanic, but I guess the some other race category is supposed to be a passive aggressive catch all for their beautifully diverse culture. And even that option doesn't really work. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, most people who mark some other race are often counted as white. Census Bureau, most people who mark some other race are often counted as white. Census Bureau, most people who mark some other race are often counted as white. <laughs> <laughs>